Okay, this is Gordon. Um, uh, yeah, I talked about, I think I talked about kind of um, rounding out this a bit. We could try circularize and maybe do that here as well. Here. And kind of narrowing this down so it's not quite so, you know, big and awkward and maybe um, extruding that edge inward a little bit and shift right mouse click extrude down a little bit and so you have the you know some thickness to it maybe you want to put a couple holding edges control shift X to get the um, multi-cut tool and holding down control to uh, put those edges in something like that Scale this out a little bit. You know, it's got a little bit more shape. The hand could use a little bit more shape too, like um, this is a little kind of bumpy that can be kind of cleaned up. Um, it's weird, is it kind of the way you've done it? It sort of looks like the hand's backwards, like facing outward, like that's the like the palm is on the outside, the way that the hand's been sculpted, it kind of looks like these need to sort of swap, you know, flip around. Um, I mentioned, yeah, you should probably separate these. They shouldn't be the same. I think I did all this in the last critique. I don't know if you watched that, but, um, you know, I mentioned giving this some more shape, maybe try the, um, flare tool. You can watch that in the previous critique, though. Um, yeah, I don't think this stuff has changed much. I don't know. I don't know if this you intend for this to bend, but it might not bend very well if you do. Um, these are just odd and much too big. Um, the face looks like it's been smoothed multiple times. Um, we can at least get rid of this last one, but you should probably get rid of the one um, before it too. I'm just going to select and delete that. And it's at least a little less dense, but that's still quite dense. Um, and it's going to be much harder to fix all these weird problems when it's this dense. Um, could try using um, surfaces, sculpt geometry, smooth here and see. It's just a kind of a, just a big old mess here. I don't know exactly what happened. And again, it's, it's, it's a little difficult um, since it's been smoothed. Yeah, look at that, that hole. It's, it's almost like the nose isn't, it's kind of like it's not fully connected, like it was just sort of stuck on there. Um, yeah, there's all kinds of weird geometry things going on with the nose there. It just kind of looks like you didn't, I'm not sure, but yeah, uh, it's, it's, so the thing is if you have a version where you still have the history that you can go back to, I think that'd be good because it's just, um, it's a bit, it's, it's, a bit, it's going to be difficult to work with being this dense and there's really no reason for it to be that dense. And it's same with the hair. Um, there's no reason to have smoothed it as much as you have. Uh, so, yeah, and then, you know, these could use just a little more shape to them. They're just a plain cylinder, so you might want to, you know, add some edges and just give it some, maybe add some curviness to it or something, just so it's not just a straight-up cylinder. And um, Yeah, and maybe the proportions just look very odd all around. Um, so I would definitely say lose these because they're just, they're going to be really big and get in your way. I mean, if you want to have, it's just not clear how they're attached or how they would move with it. They're just kind of floating there. Um, so I might just, we can, I would say get rid of them altogether, but if you want some shoulder pad thing, make it much smaller. 
Um, so yeah, overall, I think this it it just it doesn't look cohesive. Um, the face is problematic because of the messed up topology and all the smooth is. I think I think the face should be also bigger. It looks proportionally small. So um, yeah, anyway, let's keep keep going.